So, um, question that people keep bringing up and wondering out loud about is, are there really, is there really a cabal of, of um, pedophiles and cultists at, at the top echelons of government in the West? And um, why? You know, how'd that happen? And actually, there's a very simple answer for it. And the answer is yes, there is. And there inevitably would be. It's unavoidable that there would be. And um, so let me explain why. It's really very, very simple. Um, if, you know, we have the world. We're born, we go out, we go to school, we do whatever, we try to make a living. You know, some succeed, some not so much. Um, if we go out as individuals, it takes, you know, it's, it's kind of tough to get anywhere. But imagine if you and a dozen other friends got together and worked together hard to help each other's career. You shared information. If one of you got a job somewhere, you hired the other guy, promoted him as high as you could, and then if he got a job somewhere, he hired you and promoted you higher and things like that. Imagine if you worked together like that. Imagine how far you could go as a group. You would rise to the top, wouldn't you? Now, what if there were a hundred of you or a thousand of you? You know, everybody else is fighting as an individual. You guys are fighting the battle of life as a team, and that is how pedophiles are operating. They are the most outcast element of society imaginable, along, you know, in occultists also, okay? And um, they have to keep their doings very, very secret. Otherwise, they're so screwed. This means they can trust each other. This means they will protect each other. This means they will tell each other secrets, you know? If you're working in accounting at company XYZ, um, you will tell your pedophile buddy um, ahead of time what earnings are going to be or what, you know, you're going to leak information. And again, like I said, you're going to give each other jobs and hire and promote each other straight to the top. It's the same reason that, um, uh, you know, gay men who, and no, I don't care what you do with your private life, but um, gay men tend to be very promiscuous. Gay men tend to make, on average, twice as much money age-adjusted as straight men. Why? Because they've got buddies that they're very close to. <laughs> Lots of them, lots of friends. Whereas most of us, we have some sort of casual friends. How much loyalty is there? Who knows, you know? Um, so uh, that is why. That is why this shit rises to the top, this crazy, wacky stuff. Um, they, they look out for each other because they have to, you know? If you were in some small religion, you know, if you were a Jew in Nazi Germany, and nobody knew you were a Jew, and let's let's say the Nazis won, you know, and, it, and it's a Nazi society, and you're a Jew, you know, you're gonna, you and other Jews, you're gonna have a blood bond. You're gonna do anything you can to help or protect them, and that is how it is with these pedophiles and these occultists. They have their little cliques, you know. People marvel, how did Je Jeffrey Epstein get so rich all of a sudden? He, you know, went to Wall Street, and made hundreds of millions, some say billions. How? You know, investing. And you can track the investments. You know, wow, he did great. He bought low and sold high and all that stuff. How is because he figures out this pedophile pimping thing and he's got this buddy he provides a little girl or a little boy to. And that guy tells him what earnings are going to be. Or, oh, by the way, there's going to be some bad news on this company. He goes and shorts it or he buys it depending, you know, he knows in advance. He has insider information because he's in that little pedo network. And all those little pedos in that little pedo network have inside information. And some of them are naturally going to go into law enforcement because, you know, it's the best way for a pedophile to hide is to be investigating pedophiles, right? Um, and that makes it even more so because they find somebody and then they can bring them into the network. Well, you know, and they can use them and they can get stuff from them and vice versa.
So it is inevitable. These top people at Intel and FBI and, and all kinds of government agencies, a large percentage of them in Hollywood and everything like that, are going to be the pedos. They're going to be the abusers. They're going to be the cultists. They're going to be people in weird little cliques because that is the source of their power. And, um, and we're kind of left out of that. <laughs> I got some more I could say on that, but I'd be getting into religion, so I'll leave it alone. Anyway, sorry if I've talked too long. <laughs>